Hello, this is Noseman from the Max on Training Team. And in today's quick tip, we are going to see how to make smooth expanding explosions using Cinema 4D's Pyro. In this empty scene, let's go and create a circle and let's lay it down on the floor. And I'm going to make it just three centimeters in radius. I'm going to go here and add a keyframe. And within five frames, I'm going to grow this to three frames and this is going to be the expanding ring that's going to create our explosion and you can see it's uh, relatively fast now let's go here and right click go to the simulation tags and all the way down let's add a pyro emitter and let's go rewind and press play and you can see there's an obvious problem here and that's because in each frame it creates the emission but this is not nice and smooth the solution to this is fairly simple. All you have to do is go to the emission type and change from surface to dynamic geometry. And this will evaluate the emitter geometry on every subframe. So if I rewind and press play, you will see that now it's much smoother. Let's go and add one more tweak. I'm going to rewind, go to my project settings, simulation, pyro, I'm going to decrease the voxel size just to make it look a bit better and then go to the max substeps and increase that. I'm going to set this for now to eight and this will add a bit more smoothness to the expansion of your pyro. Fantastic. Let me frame this. And uh, lastly, I'm just going to go to frame seven and deactivate the pyro. I want this to be more of a fast explosion rather than a continuous burn. So let's go and add a keyframe for enabled at frame seven. Let's go and advance one frame and let's turn off the enabled and add a keyframe and uh, rewind and press play. And there you have it. We have this smooth expanding explosion just by using a few clicks. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.